cross-functional diagram or flowchart is one that includes swim lanes and separators. Now you can actually use a template, you can go File New and choose a cross-functional flowchart and choose a template to work with. But what I'm going to do is create a cross-functional flowchart from scratch. I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a new page. And I'm going to call this page cross-functional. And OK. Now the trick with a cross-functional flowchart is you need to use the cross-functional flowchart shape stencil. And this is what I mean about swim lanes and separators. I'm going to drag, for example, a swim lane straight onto my page. Sorry, my mouse was just giving me a bit of grief then. So here's my first swim lane. But what I'd like to do is have several swim lanes. So I'm going to add another one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And it arranges them. Now they're a little bit tall, and so it's now um, giving me a page break, which is this dashy line, and I'm partly on a second page. So I might press Ctrl A to select all, and I might just use my up arrow and move them up onto the first page. So here's my cross-functional flowchart with an exact total of six swim lanes. What I'd like to do is click on Title, and then type the title, Customer Satisfaction Survey. As far as this function here goes, I click it and I just type Management Regulatory Services. Click on this function and type Team Leader and that'll do. Click on this one, Communications Manager. Click on the next one, uh, Performance Analyst. Next one. Secretary Governance. And lastly, Records. So the swim lanes are various functions. You can resize them. For example, I might actually reduce the height of the team leader. So I'll just drag this mouse pointer up and then increase the height of the communications manager. So the sizes can be increased and decreased just using this particular mouse pointer here. As far as the separators go, I'd like to separate this into four sections. So I'm going to grab the separator and drop it about, about so. Now in this particular um, separator or section, I would like to add some shapes. So I'm going to switch to my basic flowchart shape stencil, and I'm going to put a process in this first area here. I'm going to reduce the size of it because it doesn't need to be that large. I'm then going to um, duplicate this shape, Control D, and I'll put this shape into this section here. And I might actually increase the height of it just ever so slightly. I then want to duplicate this shape again and put this into this section here. And duplicate it again and put it over here. So you simply add your shapes to your Swim lanes. Now I'm going to reduce the height of records by making secretary governance taller. In fact, let's just do it this way. Reduce that height there and increase the height of performance analyst to about there. Um, I'll duplicate this shape again. Actually, I'll just move these up. And duplicate. And duplicate. I'll then put a start end in this area here. All right. I'd like to create another separator, so I'm going back to my cross-functional flowchart shapes and grabbing the separator shape and putting it about here. And then again, you proceed to add the shapes. And if you can, just duplicate what shapes you've got um, so that you've got consistency 
and so I'm just control dragging consistency in their height and width etc. And then I'll create another separator, and that's my four sections. And you just continue to add the shapes that you need. Then, of course, you would add your connection. So I'll go for my connector tool on my home tab, and I'll simply create the connections between the shapes. If the line is not straight, it just means that the shapes are not lined up. So at that point, I would actually turn to my pointer tool, select these two shapes, press the function key F8, and I would line them um, probably to the left and OK. And now they're nice and straightened up. So continue to add your shapes and then continue to connect those shapes as necessary. So I'm just going to connect this shape to this shape and so on and so forth. You may want to make it a little bit easier for yourself by going to View and going to Visual Aids and ensuring that you can glue to everything and that nothing snaps to anything. So I've taken the snap off and I've told it to glue to everything. And that just makes it a little bit easier to create these connection points. Sometimes I find zooming right in is also very handy, so I'm just zooming right in so I can clearly see what I'm connecting to. Again, if the line's not straight, I'll turn off my connector and I'll shift arrow my shape just the littlest bit so that it nudges it and therefore the line straightens and it connects properly. And then I'll proceed to do the rest of my connections. But it's so much easier if you increase your magnification. Remember also you've got the ability to use your F8. If you select more than one shape, you can press F8 and quickly align them. Which is very useful as well. Having added all my connectors, I might click on Phase at the top here. And this particular phase is Survey Documentation. This phase here, I'll simply click and put identify, identifying population. In this phase here, returned surveys. And lastly, collating results. Then I would proceed to click a shape, attribute the font and font size that I'd like so I'm going to go for Arial Narrow and I'm going to go for 7 and even though it's not listed there I simply type 7 and then I simply type Review Update Survey Questions and Letter and continue press escape to fill in each of the boxes and if necessary resize the boxes to accommodate the text and basically you've created a cross-functional flowchart diagram. So a cross-functional flowchart diagram or drawing has swim lanes, which are resizable, separators, which create your phases. You can easily click on the phase or the function or the title and give it alternative text. You also have at the top here in your ribbon a cross-functional flowchart tab. And so here you're also able to insert a swim lane and a separator. You can even change the um, orientation from horizontal, which it is now, to vertical. Um, but we've already created it, so I would leave it on horizontal. But here is the vertical where it tr um, transposes the swim lanes and the phases. But I'm going to put it back to being horizontal. And you've got various options as well, whether you show the title or not, whether you show the separators or not. 
and whether you rotate lane labels etc but simply um, I would create my swim lanes create my separators add my um, shapes as you can see here create the connections and then put the text in and that's a cross-functional flowchart